All right, so let's talk bait. Now, most set lines are designed to be used with minnows, with the exception of sometimes guys using automatic hook sighting devices will use like maggots or spawn sacks, something like that for trout. But really, other than that, most species of fish we're fishing for with set lines, we're gonna be using some sort of minnow. So there's a few things you need to know about minnows when you're choosing your minnow for your set line. There's three primary types of minnows that you can get over most of the ice belt. Number one, you've got shiners. Number two is suckers. Number three is fatheads. So one thing you should know is shiners, when they're hooked, they typically want to swim up and away from whatever is holding them back, like your sinker. So uh, shiners are going to swim up. They're going to keep swimming up and up and up until they get exhausted and then they'll finally kind of settle down. Suckers and fatheads on the other hand, they want to swim down towards the bottom. So keep that in mind when you're rigging, uh, rigging up your minnows that shiners are going to have a lot different action than a sucker will. Not just a different look, but a different action completely. So that's a, a nice thing to know when you're setting out a bunch of lines and you want to diversify. So that leads into tip number two. You want to carry a variety of species and sizes if you can. There's certain days where the fish just want big suckers and that's what they want. Other days, a small like three inch shiner. And then of course for your panfish, you're gonna want a crappie minnow or a fathead. So I like to try and go bring everything I can with me and test it all out, see what the fish are hitting and then kind of switch them over to whatever is the best bait at the time. So another thing you should know about minnow choice, when you're fishing with an automatic hook setting device, you wanna downsize your minnows a little bit because when the fish eats that minnow, it's going to set the hook right away. So if they don't have that whole minnow in their mouth, it's not likely they're going to be hooked. So I typically step down a size in minnows than what I would use on a tip up when I'm using an automatic hook setting device. Another key to using minnows on set lines is to almost always hook the minnow through the back right by the dorsal fin. That's a, just the, the right placement in most cases for a hook when you're using a set line. If you hook them through the mouth, they're gonna struggle kind of weird. They're not gonna swim right. They're gonna kind of go against the hook and then kind of fall backwards. It's not as natural. When you hook them through the back, they try and swim away from that hook. And then when a fish eats that minnow, the hook is in place to hook them correctly. If you're getting value out of this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a ton more videos like this and a lot more coming. And also, if you're gonna purchase any of this stuff, that I have linked down below that helps the channel a ton and I really appreciate it. Thanks guys. A treble hook is very simple. You just put one treble hook just under the dorsal fin. You don't want to go too deep because if you go too deep, you're going to backbone the fish, the minnow, and, and it'll paralyze them so they're not able to swim properly. So just, just under the skin with one of those treble hooks just under the dorsal fin, it's a good tough spot to hook them. Now when you're using a single hook, you always want to hook the minnow from back to front, never from side to side. Because when you hook that minnow from side to side, that hook can swing down when the fish eats it, and it can jam in the minnow and not hook the fish. When you hook it front to back and let that hook point backwards, the fish eats it, that hook is in place to set the hook on the fish and hook them right in the top of the mouth. So that's the key to hooking minnows when you're using set lines. Number one, always in the back. Number two, if you're using a single hook back to front parallel with the minnow. Now, if I had my choice of minnow for all around all species, don't know what I'm fishing for, and I just want one minnow, it's gonna be about a two and a half to three and a half inch shiner. I'm gonna hook that on like a number four octopus hook, like I mentioned, front to back parallel with the minnow. You can set that on anything, a set line of any kind, including an automatic hook setting device, and you're gonna catch fish. So that's basically all you need to know about minnows. I'm gonna leave another video right here for you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you sub to the channel for more videos like this one, and we'll catch you later. Get hooked up.